Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir the Movie was released in 2023 and was directed by Jeremy Zag. It tells the story of magical jewels who bond with two teenagers and turn them into superheroes and they must try to save the day from the evil Hawkmoth. So, Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir the Movie. This is uh, an interesting one because I'm someone who... I never watched the TV series that this is based on and I believe this movie is like a retelling with the same cast, it's just on Netflix. Um, I do feel it's very much a straight-to-TV film. It's definitely not a movie I think should have been released in cinemas. I don't think it's made on a high enough budget, personally. I do feel the voice acting as well is just much more suited towards a TV. But, um, no, I, I believe this is like a reboot. And I, I know I've heard from Lego Fan 506 who requested this review. He told me that they do plan on doing sequels to this movie, that it's going to be a trilogy. So it does sound pretty interesting. I've only seen bits and pieces of the TV show. And if I'm correct, it aired on Disney Channel, if I'm correct. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. So Lego Fan 506 a while ago, he asked me to review this movie. And I'm going to dedicate this review to him because, unfortunately, months ago, quite a while ago now, actually, but his main channel was hacked. And unfortunately, it got removed. And Lego Fan 506 tried everything he could. He tried his absolute best. To recover his account and unfortunately no recovery was made which is very very sad but I'm gonna leave a link to his new channel well he has a channel that he's using at the moment in the description and a link to his social medias in the description so feel free to check that out he is a really great guy I've known him for a long time and he's an awesome guy so I was more than happy to review this movie for him and for someone I went into this movie because I'd never watched the TV show. I know it's very beloved, it has a very popular fan base, but it never really um appealed to me personally. And not that I think it would be bad, it just never really interested me. It never really seemed like my cup of tea personally. So I decided to give this film a watch and I went into it. I was not expecting much, honestly. I didn't even think I'd like it that much. I just thought it was gonna be I'd say it'd be okay. I mean I went in optimistic, as I should have. And I'm happy to say, after watching the film, I was genuinely really, really, really surprised. This is actually a really good movie. Like, holy shit, I wasn't expecting to like it uh, as much as I did. I wouldn't call it uh, an amazing movie. I don't think it's, like, one of the best films ever made. But as far as uh, 2023 goes for films and as far as surprises, this is definitely a surprise. The storyline... It's very basic. It is very, very straightforward. It definitely feels so much like a TV movie. It really does feel like a Disney Channel TV movie. I think really it was just the lighthearted tone and the visuals really did remind me of those old TV movies that used to be on Disney Channel. And I thought the storyline, it was interesting. It was basic, simple, and it was basically a simple origin story. And the direction is very straightforward. Like, there isn't really... Um, big dramatic plot twists and turns. I mean, there kind of is with the villain, but I'm not going to spoil that. But I thought the storyline, it was pretty decent for what it was. And I was, you know, I was enjoying the chemistry between Marinetti and Adrian. And I'm very sorry if I do pronounce the names wrong. But I just, I enjoyed the characters and their dynamics. And I think the storyline, it actually kept me invested. I was like, wow, I'm actually interested and enjoying what's going on and I really like uh, the mid credit scene there's a scene just before the credit starts and that sets up the sequel and I'm not going to spoil it but I thought I was like oh wow you know what I'm actually intrigued to see where they take this story forward and I might even consider watching the tv show so I have to say the storyline it is very basic but it's pretty decent I must say the animation is not the greatest I've ever seen but for a TV film, I think the animation's pretty nice. It's nicely polished and it does have its detail. It's very, it's the same as the TV show. It's just much more polished. You can tell it was made on a slightly bigger budget than the TV show. But I wouldn't uh, necessarily, of, I mean, to me personally, due to the animation and the voice acting, I just think it's much more suited towards a TV. I wouldn't have released it in the cinema, but that's just me personally. But even then, I think the voice acting is pretty decent. I just think it's very much uh, suited for TV. Uh, that's just me. But even then, the animation is pretty good. The action is pretty well choreographed. It's exciting. It's bright. It's colourful. And the voice acting, like I said, is pretty good. And the characters, 
once again, I'm surprised. They're all pretty likeable. I wasn't expecting to like Marinetti and Adrian all that much, but I was genuinely surprised that they were actually well-written characters with very interesting character arcs, and their chemistry is actually nicely written. The other characters aren't bad, but the ones that get the most focus are definitely Marinetti and Adrian. Then there's the villain Hawkmoth, who at first I thought he's going to be a very underdeveloped and bland villain. But I'm surprised once again, he actually does have development, just takes a little while to get to his backstory. And his backstory is actually pretty well written, plus his payoff does go in a very interesting direction. So, yeah, the storyline and the characters genuinely really did surprise me in this movie. The music is pretty good. I have to admit, some of the songs do make it feel like a Disney movie. Um, I don't know, it's probably a weird comparison, but it just... It just did. That was the vibe I was getting. It really did feel like a Disney movie. It just, it just did. The amount of songs in it really just did remind me of old Disney films. But the soundtrack for what it was, it was pretty decent. So for someone who never watched the TV show, and for someone who has no experience with the franchise, only seen like bits and pieces of it, and I've heard great things, and I've seen, like I know it's very beloved and has a very big fan base, I was very surprised with this film. Overall, Miraculous Ladybug in Cat Noir was a big surprise to me. It has a pretty solid story, nice animation, likeable characters, and pretty decent music. I thought it was just going to be a passable film, but wow, what a surprise. I'm going to give Miraculous Ladybug in Cat Noir the movie an 8 out of 10. So yeah, no, what a surprise. Genuinely, what a surprise. I'm very surprised at how it went. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you LEGO Fan 506 for requesting this review. It was a pleasure to do it for you, man. And uh, yeah, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Uh, stay tuned for my next video. Until then, guys, take care. I hope you're having a great day. And skidoosh.